Hey guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I'm going to show you a little trick when making um, full color transfers with your Roland BN20 or BN20A. So if you are making heat transfers, and this is just, I just printed this one and weeded. I haven't even masked it yet, but this is um, one of the Caesar like S print um, materials. Okay. So what you are going to obviously do is you're going to mask it and then you're going to apply it to your shirt just like you would regular HTV and you can be done from there. However, if you do another uh, press afterwards, a post press with what's called a T seal. This is actually made by one of the white toner printer manufacturers, Uninet, but you can use it on your heat transfer uh, applications as well. And what it does, because it has a little bit of a rubbery, um, a rubbery feel on one side, it will actually press your um, dec uh, decal, your transfer further into the shirt and it will give it a nice a really, really low hand. So you'll barely be able to feel it. So what I'm gonna do is uh, press that uh, transfer first, and then what we have to do is reduce the temperature. Drop the temperature on the heat press because the T-seal can't be used above 300 degrees, and ideally you want it at about 270 or 290. So my recommendation is to press all of your transfers first and then go back, reduce the temperature, and put them all through a second time. And what I'm gonna do is show you a before uh, and after with and without the T-seal so you can see uh, the difference. It's obviously di very difficult for you to feel it, but you'll be able to see the difference. All right, so the temperature on the heat press is um, up to 310, and so we're about ready to place our transfer right on the shirt. So I'm just gonna first place the shirt on the heat press, and that all nice and flat. Okay, I like to hang the, the sleeves and the top off as much as I can so it's flat. And then now we have our transfer, which as you saw, we placed onto, um, we masked, I'm actually gonna make sure this is, a little trick here is to, to fold the design in half slightly, just kind of crease it so you know where the middle is and then line that middle up um, with the middle of the shirt. I can feel the tag, you know, and so I know where the middle of the shirt is here. Okay, you can also fold the shirt and crease that and then align the two creases, but this is just super quick and easy. Okay, so we'll press this and then we will um, pull that transfer off. And once the transfer uh, carrier sheet, the mask is off of there, then we will do a second press with the T-seal after um, we have brought the temperature on the heat press down to between 270 and 290. Okay, so the transfer is now on the shirt and I can just peel that off. And I'm gonna give you guys a close-up. It looks pretty good already. I'm gonna give you a close-up though of what this looks like on the shirt so that you can see the before and after with the T-seal um, that we're gonna use. Okay, so now we will take our shirt that has the uh, transfer on there that we printed with our roll-in, we masked, and then we pressed on. And we're gonna do the next print. You can see it's kind of shiny. We wanna get rid of not only that shine and that sheen, but we also wanna press it further into the shirt. So again, I've got it on my heat press. Heat press is down to 290, set for 20 seconds. And then we're just gonna take our, our T-seal and place it directly over top. Now, once the T-seal um, is on there, and pressed for 20 seconds, we wanna wait about five seconds after the timer goes off to peel that um, T-seal back. So um, that just helps to let it cool just a second before we pull it off. I should also let you know that the T-seal um, is definitely, um, it's, it's about $40, I put the links down below, but you will get about 500 presses out of this as long as you, know, you use it within that um, temperature range that we talked about. All right, so let's wait about five seconds. And then we will just peel this off. And you're not gonna be able to see it probably um, from this angle or this view, but I will give you a closer up um, picture so that you can see the side by side. You can see it's no longer got that real shine on there. Um, and it's also, if I'm looking closer, it's definitely further into the grains of the shirt.
All right, guys, so as you saw the side by side, there is definitely a difference with how well the transfer is pushed into the shirt, and that is going to make a big difference in washability and also with your customers not feeling like, especially a design like this. I use this one intentionally because it's a big design. They can sometimes feel thick and crunchy on a shirt. So using the T-seal is gonna help with that. It's gonna give you a thinner hand. Of course, you're still gonna be able to feel it. This is, this is um, you know, a, a heat transfer vinyl. It is not something like DTF um, or white toner that is, um, you know, just the ink or the toner. This is actually um, heat transfer vinyl, and you can get a great finished look with it, but to make it even better, you want to pair it with um, the T-seal. So I've linked to the T-seal below in the description, so go ahead and grab that. Obviously, you know I'm a huge fan of the Roland BN20A, so if you're interested in, in everything it can do, which is well beyond um, t-shirt transfers, you check that out as well. I've got all kinds of videos um, and tutorials, and if you need help above and beyond, Obviously, for your Roland, the, the VersaWorks software, or any of the other softwares or hardware that you see I talk about here on my uh, YouTube channel, you might want to check out Silhouette U, which is my premium website, premium content website, where I also offer one-on-one -on -one chat help with me. Um, we have content on there that is nowhere else, about a library of about 400 videos that I don't post anywhere else. Those are you know, more in-depth, lots of software type things that are very hard to do um, in videos otherwise, all right? All right, you guys, I would love to see you. Um, make sure you leave a comment on what you're making, how you like the T-Seal, and I hope to see you around.